Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. So lately I've been hearing a lot of people compare and try to draw a conclusion of which is better between the Nell Pistol and the Arca Cisco. Now these two sidearms are sidearms of their own with similar but also quite unique mechanisms. Today as these weapons are highlighted, I decided to take a closer look of my own and try to identify the better weapon and if not exist, who each sidearm is created for. Now as a lot of us know the track record shows us DE seems to always get things right the second or third time they try something new. So does that mean that all those formers on the previous weapons are useless or does this mean you shouldn't even get them if you had the chance to? The nail pistol in this case came with a Harrow update and was quite praised for its unique mechanisms of increasing critical damage with the dead nail buff. It can give you infinite ammo if you land a successful headshot and was also boasted to take down high level heavy gunners in just few seconds. It also synergizes well with magnetize for mag and if you can counter a difficult enemy or a boss with this pistol, you can do some intense damage. And with frames like Vauban, Volt, Harrow, Frost or even most especially Mesa, you can deal some intense damage as well and kill them all in one go. That is, till you find out the downside. The nail has 1 ammo per magazine and 10 in total. And because of this you will have to reload after every shot unless you get a headshot to activate the dead nail. And because of this most people will put it at the bottom of their mastery fodder list, never to see the light of the day again and would have brought it out occasionally just to see if it's still there but then DE released the Arca bundle. And to be specific, DE released the Arca Cisco. This is also called the Nail Killer or the killer of all tactical sidearms in the game. These are almost similar weapons, not identical in physical design, but when it comes to the playstyle, they are much like the same, except for the fact that the Nail now looks like the test weapon compared to the Arca Cisco. The Arca Cisco has 32 rounds per magazine compared to 1, maximum ammo of 288 compared to 10, about 10 seconds of combo reset compared to 3, 2v polarities compared to none, and a great status chance with a buff that increases both critical chance and also your status chance with no punishment for a missed shot. Now this is basically a dream weapon for a lot of players in the game, but there are things that are quite different in the Arca Cisco lacks as well. The Arca Cisco doesn't have any impact damage and has a much longer reload speed. Now of course some people will argue that you know what, the magazine size will cancel all that out. However, it also lacks a solid damage multiplier unlike the nail pistol which is also able to be pushed all the way up into a 3.9 damage multiplier. The nail has a total damage of about almost 3 times that of the Arca Cisco and also effective against shielded target. These two sidearms after comparison for me seems to pick up where others fall short. So if the nail lacks in something, the Arca Cisco has those. If the Arca Cisco lacks in something, the nails has those. So they balance each other out on the same plane. This also leads to the conclusion of which none of these weapons are better than the other, but a matter of who each weapon is created for. The Arca Cisco is for a player who enjoys a casual playstyle and plays where they can just take a shot and keep things moving. A player who is not too concerned about the multi-faction builds or some high level enemy scaling. The nail on the other hand belongs to tactical players or those who aim at high level enemies as their own form of endgame. These are players who value critical multipliers and also value all three physical damage which are impact, puncture and slash in their weapons. So whichever of these groups you fall in will actually show your approach and style of play. Now of course this is just my opinion and everyone is entitled to theirs as well. Let me know what you guys think about this, let me know what you think about this comparison and if you enjoyed this video feel free to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more. And as always, it is DS signing out, I'll see you all in the next one. I don't know.